The White House and members of Congress are looking for new ways to provide abortion access after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. And President Biden is encouraging Americans to protest the decision. But how far is too far? Doug Luzader reports. We won't go back! Protests over the weekend moved to just outside the White House, upping the pressure on the president to take action on abortion. And while the president was actually at the beach in Delaware at the time, he urged them on. Yeah, just keep protesting because keep making your point. But at the same time, the administration is warning against intimidation. Last week, protesters showed up outside a D.C. restaurant where Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh was having dinner. And one group is even offering a bounty to service industry workers who identify the locations of conservative justices. The president is now considering declaring a public health emergency over abortion access, but it's unclear what that would really mean. And even the president acknowledges that his powers are limited. But as president, I don't have the authority to say that uh, we're going to, you know, state Roe v. Wade as the law of the land. Congress, though, may have that power, and the Senate Judiciary Committee is holding a hearing tomorrow on abortion as Democrats hope the issue resonates in the November elections. How will these issues like gun violence, Roe v. Wade, will they energize Democratic voters enough to close that enthusiasm gap and make a difference? We don't know that yet. I think the economy is still the number one, two, and three issue uh, driving voters.